Hi everybody, it's Jay here from Abba English. And today's video is about introductions, formal introductions and informal introductions, or how to introduce yourself at a job interview. Okay, so if you enjoyed the video, we'd love you to like the video below and also to subscribe to the ABBA Live Speaking app. Okay, so first off, as you can see, I'm dressed up for an interview. I have my tie on, my shirt, it's ironed and cleaned, and I'm ready for an interview. So I'm going to start by talking about formal introductions. These are also known in English as greetings. That's what we do when we meet someone, we greet them for the first time. So one thing we do with formal introductions, we don't normally use contractions. Okay, so for example, I am, not I'm. If you use I'm, it doesn't matter, but if you want it to sound very formal, we don't normally use contractions in formal speech. So, the first thing we do when we meet someone for the first time in, uh, certainly in England, is we shake hands. <laughs> we shake hands. Unlike other cultures, we don't normally kiss each other on the cheek. Okay, certainly not in formal situations. So what's the first thing we say? Well, obviously we say hello, <laughs> okay? Now you can follow hello with one of these three things. You can say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, okay? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. We do not say good night, okay? We only say good night when somebody is going to bed, going to sleep, okay? That's when we use good night. Otherwise, we would say good evening, okay? So if we follow on from there, all right, then I would introduce myself. I would say, my name is Jay, okay? My name is Jay. Now, often in a formal situation, we will also use our surname. So for example, I could say, my name is Stephen Phillips. Okay, my name is Stephen Phillips. That would be a formal way of introducing yourself. Then we would follow this up by saying, pleased to meet you, pleased to meet you. There are two other ways of saying this phrase. You could also say, nice to meet you, or good to meet you. All three are possible, and all three are formal, okay? Pleased to meet you, nice to meet you, good to meet you. Okay, so that's one way of introducing yourself. So imagine if you're at a job interview, if you're at a job interview, and they say, good morning, Stephen, come this way. You say, good morning, and they say to you, how are you? Now, how do you answer, how are you, in a formal situation? Well, you can answer it this way. You can say, I am very well, thank you. I am very well, thank you. But then you would need to follow up that question by saying, and how are you? And how are you? So good morning, Stephen. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And how are you? Okay, so and from there, well, it depends how the interview goes or how many more. But that is basically the formal way of introducing yourself or greeting people. So remember, we don't use contractions normally in formal greetings. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to introduce yourself informally. Whoop! Hey! <laughs> so now I've changed. My interview went very well and now I'm going off to meet some friends. So as you can see, I've changed. So, if you liked the formal introductions, we'd love you to participate. You can participate below, write in some comments. Maybe you can introduce yourself formally and perhaps start a conversation with your fellow students with some formal introductions and some formal speech in the comments box below, okay? So now we're going to move on to informal introductions. Informal introductions. So unlike formal introductions with informal introductions, we nearly always use contractions, okay? We nearly always use contractions. So, 
I can say, instead of hello, I'd say, hi, I'm Jay, I'm Jay, okay? I'm Jay, as you can see, so I've changed hello to hi. Now, there are many different ways to greet people informally, especially around the world and especially in English. Now, you remember I spoke about shaking hands? Well, now, often a lot of people, they do what we say, high five. That's a high five when they greet, or they do what they call a fist bump, where you bump fists. Or as I said previously in the formal section, you can now elbow bump, okay? <laughs> and of course, in informal situations, you can kiss each other on the cheek. That's no problem. Okay, so as I can see, as you can see, excuse me, I've replaced hello with hi, okay? Then <clears throat> if it's somebody you've never met before, you'd say, hi, I'm Jay. Now you can still say, nice to meet you, but you can also say, great to meet you, okay? Lovely to meet you. These are different ways of saying, pleased to meet you. That would be the formal way. Okay, so hi, how you doing? Great to meet you, okay? Now, as you can see, I used how you doing. That's a variation of how are you? That's the informal way to say, how are you? Okay, how you doing? How you doing? It comes off really quick. Another phrase you can use is, how are things? How are things? Okay. All right. So they mean, how are you? Now, how would you answer that? How would you answer that? Well, you could say, I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine, thanks. And you. So you can follow it up with, and you. Okay. Now, if somebody says to you, how are you doing? You can say, fine, thanks. Or great. I'm great, thanks. Or it's cool. Everything's cool, thanks. That's another word we use in informal situations. Okay, so they're basically some of the introductions we use when we're introducing ourselves both formally and informally. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go off. I'm going to meet some of my friends for a drink and I'm going to tell them all about my job interview and how well it went because I spoke clearly and formally and I wore a tie. Okay, so again, we'd love you. We hope you enjoyed the video. So remember, at ABBA, we always say that practice makes perfect. So if you want to improve your speaking skills, just join us at ABBA English. You can find the details in the description box below. Okay, and there you can practice with other students. You can join the ABBA Live speaking class and talk to native teachers, okay, and other students just like you. So join us and introduce yourself either formally or informally. Okay, thanks very much. I'll see you next time. Bye.